Hello, 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 everybody. It's me, Pam, here at Lady Pug Kisses Stamp Studio. How are you guys doing today? I am doing pretty good. Um, today we are going to take and um, work with a card kit um, that I've made a couple months ago as a card kit, but I make extras all the time. And... Um, just to kind of prove to you that you do not have to have the same stamp set I'm using because this was definitely a Christmas one that um, I pulled out today. Um, and I used Christmas stamps. I forget which Christmas stamp I used, but I used Christmas stamps as obviously Christmas colors here. And um, I'm going to use Share Milkshake. It's brand new. It's in the new MIDI catalog. So, Hit your demonstrator up, um, or if you don't have a demonstrator, you can um, definitely hit me up on my Facebook page. My Facebook page is Lady Pug Kisses Stamp Studio. Um, that's Pug, Lady Pug, one word, uh, Stamp Studio. Alrighty, so let's get all of our goodies out of here. So, let's see here. Um... Lots of real red going on here. Some shimmer paper and stuff. We're going to put all that over here. Out of the way. Let's just get everything out of the way. All right. Um, I am going to use some real red. Um, and I think we're going to use some crumb cake. Um, so... I actually got this on here already. Um, photopolymer, photopolymer stamps. Let's um, let's uh, discuss them for a second because I'm sure you guys just seen that my stamp is kind of already stained. And photopolymer, the darker the pigment will stain. I'm gonna actually just get this out too um, because photopolymer needs like a cushion because it doesn't have a cushion. So I'm gonna get it out. Let me get a piece of um, cardstock over here, white, and I'm going to, actually, I think I'm going to stamp off, and then I'm going to stamp, because I'm going to, it's a two-step stamping, so we're going to bring the other one in, so, oh, you know what I don't have? I don't have my cleaner out. So let's get that out real quick. So there we are. Oh no, I think I just touched that ink, but I still want that ready. So I am gonna leave that disaster out there. <laughs> it will be a disaster <laughs> if I am if I don't pay attention to what I'm doing, right? And so let's see here. Let's get this one on this side, and we will put this one back in its home real quick. I don't know how all these other demonstrators do it without making a huge, crazy mess all the time. So, okay, so since it's photopolymer, I can see through it as long as my head doesn't get too far into your guys' view. There we go. And we're going to just kind of let it sit there for a minute. I don't like the way that turned out. Hmm. You know what? Because I don't like the way it, it turned out, I am going to do this. I'm going to ink this up one more time. Come over here. And just let it sit and soak up. But I think I might stamp off twice the red because it almost was like... It's not coming out super dark. Why, why is it not coming out super dark? Maybe I need to re-ink my ink pad, do you guys think? I think. <laughs> I think that's it. I think that's my problem. I'm sorry, I have the sniffles. Kansas is trying to kill me with this allergies. I'm like, ugh. Alrighty, so. As I should have played with this before I got on here with you guys, but I was like, oh, I'll be okay. Um, just stamp that off. Get that 
that one cleaned and bring out, and like I said, it will stain, the darker the pigment will stain, but it's not gonna affect the way your stamps work. And they're gonna still work the same way. So let's get this little guy here. And like I said, I think I'm gonna stamp it up twice this time so that it's so much lighter. Alrighty, so now let's try it. There we go. And it should be, I can see the, the difference in the color, so it should be okay. It's a strawberry milkshake. <laughs> That's, that's what I'm going to say. It's a strawberry milkshake. It looks really gorgeous, though. I'm just saying. Alrighty. So, we're going to cut it out with the little thingy in a second. So, let's see here. I'm also going to do the, um, or is there a stamp for that one? I don't think there is. I think it's just, oh, it isn't. But that's okay, because you know what I'm going to do. Tell you what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find a piece of brown paper. Come here, little. No, that's not brown paper. I don't know what that one is. <laughs> I just don't know. But you know what? I could. Oh no, here. Oh, I got some cinnamon cider. Found some cinnamon cider. That'll work. Alrighty. So we're gonna use that to cut out the waffle cone. So. Okay, look at all these dies it comes with. It's got the, the spoon, the little dish, the waffle cone, strawberry shake. I might do the little dish too. Um, <laughs> I think I'm going to, but it's not going to be red. It's going to be, let's see here. Let's bring out my cheats real quick. Let's see what, what color would go good with our red, real red. Let's see here. Love these little cheats, people. These little cheat cards are so awesome. So, let's do... Mm, I don't know if I've seen very many um, purple ice creams. But I do see a lot of yellows. So, I might come in there with the yellow. Or the crushed curry. So, let's go with crushed curry. Where is crushed curry? Crushed curry. And then we're going to get our next little die and get our little cup out. I'm going to start out with this one. And um, do it super dark, just like we did the other one. Hopefully, this ink pad doesn't need to be re-inked. <laughs> So let's see here. There we go. It is gorgeous today in um, Kansas. I don't know what it's like where you are, but oh my lord, it's just absolutely gorgeous here. Um, I am loving this weather. I don't like this allergies. I swear, Kansas does not like me. Uh, but um. I love my, oh, wait, I needed that, right? Okay, and then we're going to stamp off on this one. Maybe a couple times. Nope. I said nope because it had a shadow there, and I didn't, I don't want a shadow. All right, you see. There we go. It would have made, made it on my little bowl as well so there we go oh, yes all righty so let's see here now we're gonna make some ice cream to go on top of it so this one i believe goes on this one yes goes on the little one we're not gonna oh where does this go? Oh, yeah, back in here. All right, so we're going to stamp it over here. So let's see here. Thinking, oh, maybe not crumb cake. 
maybe, maybe early espresso because it can be chocolate. It can be chocolate ice cream. Yes. There we go. Chocolate ice cream. We're going to put you down here, chocolate ice cream. Just make sure it's good and stamped well. Chocolate ice cream. Mm, I love chocolate ice cream. Okay, I love all ice cream. Um, you know, it's just not dark enough. Excuse me if my head gets in your way. There we go. That's a little bit darker. That's good. That's the beauty of the photopolymer. <laughs> so, all right, so we've got chocolate ice cream. Um, this one over here is going to be like a, I don't know. It's a milkshake, so it can be like, I don't know. Let's see here. Hmm. I could, I can play with it. Let's see here. We've got Smoky Slate. We can stamp off a few times and maybe make it. Let's see if it's going to be the color I want. Maybe. Let's see here. No, that's just not going to be the color I want. I don't think it's the color I want. Huh. I, mm, what I could do is I could just cut it out. Yeah, you know, I'm going to try it. I'm going to see what it looks like. All right, let's put this one back. All right, so I think I need a draw of some sort. So let's get our real red back out. Um, so I don't know if I clean that. So I'm going to just do a little bit of a scrub there. And I'm going to get my straw. And is there a, yes, there is. <laughs> there is a die to cut out the straw. So. Let's see here. I've got an afternoon um, COVID test. So last week, my granddaughter that lives here in Kansas with us wasn't feeling well. So she went to the nurse and um, they saw she had a fever, so they sent her home, and her mother thought, because her mother was giving her these at-home COVID tests. So here's a little inf a little bit of um, crazy information for you guys. So she gave her an at-home COVID test, but made her an appointment to go into the walk-in clinic anyhow, because she is very prone to um, getting um, ear infections, right? So she went in and First things first, she did have a double ear infection, but they also tested her for um, for COVID there. But because the home test came back negative, um, my um, daughter-in-law dropped her off over here, and um, and uh. I watched her until she got home, and then later on that afternoon, they found out that she had COVID, and now I'm thinking about going to see my family in Oklahoma in, um, on this uh, this weekend, but if, I'm, if I've got COVID, I'm not going to, because it's my, my niece's birthday slash Christmas party, and... The reason she's doing her Christmas now is because she spent Christmas in the hospital. So, yeah. Um, do I want a spoon? I think I want a spoon. Like, not really a spoon with you, but yeah. <laughs> so, let's see here. Um, I'm going to do the, um, you know what? Mm, let me see something real quick. It's over here. Let me see here. Let me see. I, I know I've got 
some embossing powder. So find it. There it is. Gray or silver embossing powder. So <clears throat> let me let me see. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that as long as I'm quick about this, it will stick. It will stick. Pretty sure. Don't quote me on that one. We'll find out together, people. But let's see here. So I'm going to ink up my... I mean, I could very well use in boss, or, um, the other stuff that it would stick to, but... Um, Versa mark, but I want to see if I can't get it. I think it's going to work, so let's get that embossed real quick before it dries. If I can find my heat gun. Oh, it, it took a tumble. <laughs> it took a tumble. Um, Set that heat up for a second while I close this. There we go. Oh, it's going to be a pretty spoon. Look at it change. You see that? There we go. All done. It's like magic. I love embossing powder. <laughs> uh -huh. All right. Let's see if I can't put this back up here. I need to find a better place for it, honestly, to tell you the truth. There we go. There we go. I'll try. All right. Oh, yeah. Let's put the lid on our embossing powder before we make a huge mess. That would be the biggest mess. Alrighty, there we go. Now, cha 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 cha. I think we've got everything we want to, um, oh no, I want to do a cherry. Where's my cherry? Here we go, here's our cherry. Alrighty, I'm gonna do cherry on top of the, oh, we also want to do the, another ice cream, don't we? So I'm going to do one more ice cream. I think I'm going to do mints. I'm pretty sure. Let's um get this cherry in here all full strength cherried. All full strength cherried. And then another full strength cherry over here. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have colored it. Because that stem, that stem is not green. You know what? That's all right. Like I said, I've never played with this one before. You and I are doing this for the first time together. So let's get these cleaned up real quick. I love my chamois. It looks horrible, but it's just because it's very well loved. It is clean. <laughs> Alrighty, so got the spoon and I want another ice cream. So I'm wanting to say it's going to be this one here that I need. And like I said, I think, um, I'm going to look real quick, but um, I'm going to see. Coastal Cabana. Oh, that would be pretty. Yeah, I think, um, no, or, ooh, 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 pear pizzazz, pear pizzazz, because it could be like a mint chip ice cream, right? Mint chip is one of my favorites, one of my favorites, not my all-time favorite, but one of them. My all-time favorite is one that's made by Woodby Island Creamery in Washington State, so if you live in Washington State, you can get this ice cream at places like Snow Goose Produce. 
which is near um, Woodby. Yeah, near the Tulip Festival. And um, during spring and summer. And oh my gosh, it's so good. It's cherry chip. So it's cherry ice cream with chips of, or little chips of chocolate chip. Yeah, <laughs> it's like so yummy. So very yummy. So it's like mint chip, but it's cherry. So yeah, get chunks of cherry. Oh, yes, I love it. Alrighty, so we've got all of this and we've got our thing here. Let's get all this out of our way. And we're going to bring out our mini, our new mini cut and emboss machine. You can only get this boho blue mini cut and emboss machine if you sign up for um, Stampin' Up! during the months of January and February. And um, you can get, it's a great sign-on bonus. Oh my God, it's the best sign-on bonus I've ever witnessed through this company. You get to choose $175 in whatever product you want from the either the mini catalog or the main catalog. And um, you pay, and if you choose to get the cut and emboss, it would be $129 plus tax. That's free shipping. And you'd get business supplies in case you want to turn this into a business because you don't want to be a happy shopper, or you could just be a happy shopper, and you'd get a free paper pumpkin. That's right. No shipping costs, just tax. So that's the best deal, I said. I think that's the best deal. All right, so we're going to get our cutting plates, in which it comes with all the cutting plates, and it's just like the other one. It's, they're all numbered, and it's all explained here on what you'll need to do your sandwiches so let me see here so we're gonna get first of all we're gonna get our oh, okay so you know what I should probably get a couple or a little bit of this too huh? that way I can get and do a few of these at a time so let's see here There's one. Let's see here. Can I, I can probably get the spoon. I know I should have fast forwarded through all this mumbo jumbo, but you guys, you guys are okay with this, right? Just fast forward through this part. <laughs> yeah, just, just fast forward through my, through my um, crazy, actually, let's do it this way. Let's see here. Just, just want to just line it up. Just line it up, Pamela. All right, there we go. Did, nope, it didn't. Okay. No, come on. This, this one's small. Okay. There we go. I think I got that one on there, right? Um, let's see here. Um, I can probably do this one here as well. Up here. My niece was just telling me a few minutes ago that she's planning on ordering this. St. Patrick's Day set with the stamp or the punch in the catalog. And I did order it, but I didn't get the punch because the punch was on back order and it's back in now. But Stampin' Up! changed it from, from the bundle, because I, I know I put it in there, right? Because I cut and paste. And um, they changed it because it wasn't available. And so I got the stamp set and I had to pay the extra 10%. So I wasn't too thrilled about that, but you know, it is what it is. Um, and then I think I'm going to be able to get this little cherry down here. So let's see here. The only thing is, is I want to see, make sure I've got my cherry in there, right? There we go. And we'll have to run it through one more time. 
because we want a few more of those things in there as well. All right, so, oh, you know what? I might not be able to get all this because, I'll tell you why, because this little cherry down here is not gonna cut out, I don't think. Come on. <laughs> Sometimes I have to, nope, it's not gonna do it. Come on. Always have issues with this thing. Come on. Boy, you know what? You know, I'm gonna do it this way. You wanna be a booger? <laughs> We're gonna do it differently. <laughs> Let's um do this. Alrighty. There we are. <sighs> See, technology tries to outsmart me, but I'm like, ha, 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 not today, and I just outsmart it all the time. That's what happens when you try to outsmart me. I've got a degree in psychology, people, and a minor in history. <laughs> yes, I've got some really odd um, tastes in life. You should hear my music. I've got all kinds of music. Um, so let's see here. People have commented when they come over, they're like, wow, you've got some serious weird music <laughs> tastes. And I'm like, I know, I know. Alrighty, so I'm gonna kitty corner a bit. All right, there we go, now it'll go through. Sometimes it's best when you stagger them, and I was trying to get way too much on that, so that's why it wasn't. I wasn't able to stagger them. So, look how cute our little spoon turned out, isn't it gorgeous? All right, we're gonna put our spoon there. We're not gonna do two spoons. So we're just gonna put that back over there, and it turned out awesome. But look, that one has got the. Um, for the straw or a spoon. Maybe I should be doing another spoon. Oh boy. Or I will cover it up somehow. We'll see. Um, maybe I'll put an embellishment on top of the um, ice cream bowl one. So, let's see here. My husband is in Florida and we're moving again in a couple weeks. Do I want to move again? No, but I know I'm trying to stagger you. I'm trying here. Work with me. <laughs> Alrighty, so those two are lined up, but you are going to be staggered. So there we go. So he had me signing a bunch of stuff this morning. So... So I'm going to be without my craft room for quite some time. So I should make a bunch of these videos and then just post them while I'm away. That way you guys don't know I'm really away, but I'll be away. So I don't need this one anymore because um, we only have two of them. But look how cute our shake is going to turn out. Oops, wait, let me show you. Isn't that going to be gorgeous? Yes. Well, I think it's going to be good, too, because I was really worried about that gray. But it is really seriously cool. Alrighty, so let me see here. I need a straw. Come here, little straw. Get our straw cut out. There we go. And maybe, maybe this one. Maybe, yes, this one. Alrighty. So, let's see here. So, I was, this morning I was looking at houses in um, 
I know I had a cherry. Oh, there it is. Um, I'll cut it out in a second. So, oh, oh, you know what? I could cut it out right now. Just put it there. <laughs> clever. Clever, Pam. Clever. Alrighty, so there we are. I guess if I had my big one, I could have done more at one time. My big cat and boss machine, but when things are in this pack out, I might have just a few things and this will be one of them. That straw is so stinking cute. Um, that bowl is adorable. Oh my gosh, I love it all. I just love this whole set. I was on the fence about this one too at first. I was like, oh, uh, you know, when am I gonna make a cherry on top, ice cream shakes and blah, blah, blah. But I'm like, you know what? I've got grandkids now. I was an instant grandmother. Um, my son married a beautiful young lady who gave me an adorable granddaughter who was about eight, I think, when they first got together. And um, since then, they have given me two more grandchildren. And then my other son married another girl who gave me another instant granddaughter, the one that I think got me sick. But um, <laughs> I still adore her. I'll just keep her around. I don't care how often she gets me sick. I'm going to keep her. She's so stinking cute. If you ever met her, you'd know what I mean. I mean, oh my goodness. And then there's another one here that I'm going to have to find out what that one's for. But, um... Probably whipped cream for on top of one of these, huh? Or, I don't know. We, I, alrighty, I'll get this one cut out as well. As long as I get it lined up, will be best. It'd be best if I get it lined up. But like I said, I was on the fence about this particular set. I wasn't quite sure I wanted it. Honestly... Honestly, this was what I really wanted it for at first. But then as I kept looking at it and looking at it and looking at it, I'm like, hmm, I really, really think I want this one. So there we go. Oh, wait, I want it staggered because it just works better when it's staggered, Pamela. There we go. And then we've got two cherries. And like I said, we might make another spoon. I don't know. Just yet. But I might. Oh no, no, I don't because we've got the spoon, and you know what? It was too close to the edge. So what I'm gonna do is just come in there. There we go. Perfect. Um yeah, I was thinking, oh, I'm going to need another spoon or another straw, but I don't because I'll tell you why. Because, oh, no, I think I might actually still need it. Uh, here I've got my little wheels in my head just going around and around. Alrighty, so I want this here. And then I think I want this waffle cone as well, but I'm going to have to cut it down, cut this down. It's just done. Here we are. I still need to stagger it a smidge, so let me see how we're going to do this. There we go. And then this one here. Make sure it gets on there. Here we are. I don't think it's staggered enough. <laughs> All right. Uh -huh. All righty, so let's see here. I'm just going to, I could, let's do this. Maybe you have a smidge. There we go. <sighs> I'm sorry, this video is probably gonna be longer than it should be should have been because I am piddling around with my, with these in dyes when I should have had them done before. Come on. 
you know what? You guys want to piddle around with me? I will piddle around with you. How do you like these apples? There we go. There's one. It's going to be a lot. So let's see here. I'm going to get one of my little scrapers. There we go. Put it over here on the side. We'll deal with that in a second. Now when it starts to curve like that, I just flip it over. And so then we've got this waffle cone. And again. Like I said, I think I'm going to do one more spoon real quick. Um, for that last little, little, so sorry about that. For that last little um, bowl thing. So let's do that real quick. So I didn't put my spoon or anything away, so that's good. Um, let's just let you sit there for a second and get our silver embossing powder back out again. Sometimes it's just easier to do it that way. <laughs> Turn that on for a second and let it draw or heat up a smidge. No messes today, people. All right. I love that spoon. Oh, you know what? That's that's a cute card. You can make a couple spoons like this and then like make some kind of like a little blanket on it and give it to your, your significant other saying, let's spoon. <laughs> it's so cute. Okay, I'm a dork. But it's that is a cute idea. <laughs> oh no, I just dropped everything. Oh well, I'll grab that real quick. There we go. <laughs> no harm, harm, no foul. <laughs> All righty. All right, let's see here. Let's get our spoon again. Oh, my dog, he thinks I'm getting up. In a few minutes, baby, I'm almost done. I know, he's old, he can't hear a word I say anyhow. All righty. Let's get our last cut and we're done. Now, I reuse these. You don't have to, but you can reuse them. So, I use them two or three times until like, they don't go through my, or until they start falling apart. All right, now let's assemble our little cute card. Get everything out of our way. Put this over there. Put this here. Put this out of our way. That's just going to look so cute. I could have done a couple of these. That would have been cute too. But I think one's going to be plenty. Alrighty. No, I'm not saving those. <laughs> I am not I'm not going to reuse them. I mean, I guess I could put them in a shaker card. But I'm not going to go through all that trouble. Okay. So. Let's see. Let's. Get our here. Put all 
this over there and get everything ready. All right, so our waffle cone. Now it's designed to kind of, um, there we go, see? And then where is our ice cream for it? Oh, I guess that, um, no, I can do it that way. There we go, see how cute? Now let's glue that real quick. I didn't need glue there, but you know what? It's okay to over glue sometimes, right? Now, I think this would be cute to have my ice cream get in your home. My ice cream up on dimensionals. One and one over here. And oh, wait, I poked a hole. <laughs> I mean, I've glued it. That's okay. There's never anything you cannot undo. Come on, get back in, get in there. There we go. Isn't that cute? Now, you because it's a, it's a, but it's big, so you might want to eat it with the spoon. <laughs> so, all right, and then I'm gonna put that just yeah. All right, there we go. There's that one. I've got it all done up. Now I'm gonna um because I don't like the way that. Where is my, I just bought a whole bunch of those. There they are, stamp and seals. So let's see here. That is the refill. And this is not the refill, but I just want this one. All right. new one so let's see here there we go come on I haven't used it in so long because I usually grab my um, my uh, big gun but I'm like oh I want to get I want to get them because I'd like to not have the big gun if I am traveling. <laughs> I almost did that. Well, actually, I might not have done it wrong because I hadn't put anything on the front, but I wanted it to open the right way. All right, there we go. But, I mean, if I'm going to have a few craft supplies for, for while my husband and I are moving. Do I want to bring this or do I want to bring this? I want to bring this. So I'll have this one in the Stampin' Seal Plus in a little bag <laughs> of crafting supplies <laughs> because I don't know if I can be able to stand long periods of time without craft supplies. Alrighty, so. This is only going to take a smidge of glue. So we're just going to add some back here not much is needed and um, I put my mono glue in this old container because it's a teeny tiny little hole and I can control it better than the other so let's just get that there but the mono glue is amazing. That's why I just squeeze it in here. I've got like four or five of these just hanging around. But um, 
The tip is pretty small, but it's not as small as this one. And you can buy, and I do have them, those little squeeze bottles, but I don't know. I had this and I'm just like, you know what? I'm not gonna throw it away. I just hold on to it, keep using it there. Now, we're gonna figure out, this one has to stand straight up and this one here has to sit like this, but this one can be off to the side, I guess. But I'm wondering, do I want this little guy up here and this one over here? I mean, it's gonna be so stinking cute once we get it all together, but you know what? We want to put our straw on here first. And that is one thing I wanted to, I actually already showed you, but look how cute. There's the little hole in which the paper is not strong enough because I used, I used thick whisper white <laughs> or basic white paper, not whisper white, that's the old one stuff. But the, I used the thick stuff because yeah, there we go, there. So, and I think, again, I want this part to be up on dimensionals, so, but I think I just want, yeah. So, let me see here. It's about, yeah, so, let's see here. I think I'm gonna use this side here. All righty, where's the tweezers? Okay, so I use everything. I know. Now I am also going to do this number and just have it go across the tip top here. There we go. I'm going to, I'm getting glue all over my mouth. I'm just saying. There we are. That was too much glue. All right, now, where's my, there it is. Again, that's up on dimensionals as well. So I want some of that to show, so I might actually come down this way and because I like that red behind there. If I get that in my mouth, I can actually talk to you guys. Alrighty, so there and then this little guy right here. We're gonna, oops, I better put that back over there. Um, Alrighty, so I don't know if I want this spoon to be like this or if I want it to be coming out of this somehow. Like, oh, maybe behind it. And then like that. Oh, that I think is perfect. So, oh, and you know what? I can have this one standing out because we've got these two. This, yeah. Alrighty, so let's see here. How are we gonna do this? Again, we do, like I said, we want the chocolate behind it. And or maybe I want the whole thing popping up. You know what, I think that's what I want. So I think I'm gonna just kind of, first of all, glue this guy in place. I like that. And then I'm gonna come back here and put a little bit of glue here. Just enough to glue our ice cream on there. And now, like I said, I want to put the whole thing up on dimensionals. So, again, I want to cut some of these dimensionals down because um, I want the bottom here to 
be secured and standing up as well. Um, and I think, oops, stuck to me. <laughs> there we go. And I could actually see if I can get just a thin piece. I'm pretty good at getting thin. Oops. <laughs> That might be too thick. I think it is. So I'm gonna put you put it up there and go back in there. And that one might be good enough. That one might be good enough. If not, we'll just use our tool to poke it. Yep, it's it's good. Alrighty, so let me see here. Where is my pokey to my there it is. Like where is my thingy? Okay. I hope you guys choose to get this one. I mean, like I said, I went back and forth for a little while, but now that I'm playing with it, I'm like, I'm in love. Totally, totally in love with it. Not there. Okay. Alrighty. Get my little cherry. On top. Because it's... I want a cherry on top. I'm going to leave the glue on here. And I think I'm going to put the sentiment of some sorts on tip top. I don't know. What is the sentiments in here? Life is sweeter with you. Celebrate. You're the cherry on top and be my valentine. Oh, so these are. this is kind of a valentinesy one, huh? Hmm, I didn't know that. It's a birthday for me. <laughs> it's the birthday for me. I'm sorry. All righty. So we're going to get this little cherry over here. Actually, or do I want it? No, I think I want it over here. There we go. Mm -hmm. All righty. So... Now for our sentiment, people. Um, I could. This little. There we go. So. I can put celebrate and on the inside I can put happy birthday. Okay, so let's get this out. And then I can put some like little, what should I call it? Surround. Alrighty, so should I do it in red or should I do it in this crushed curry to kind of bring more of that color up in there? I think I'm gonna do crushed curry. Let it sit there for a second, absorb that ink because I'm using this shimmer paper that's not stamping up. Oh, it's turned out so cute. So cute, so cute, so cute. Alrighty. And I will find a happy birthday for the inside. Um, oh boy. I have some pretty what should I call it? So I just have to find them. Oops, of course I'm dropping everything. Um, uh, da, 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 da. I don't think that those ones would go. No. Oh, you know what? 
No, that's okay. Might. Yeah, I think I'm going to take and put a dimensional up there somehow. I'm gonna, I'll do some card surgery, as they call it. Let's see here. I've got these gems that I got that are, they were part of the Christmas, this Christmas. It was a sweet. So let's see here. I think it'll be perfect. find a birthday wish for the inside but I'm not going to do that with you I'll do it later but yes that is so super 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 cute um let's see here no what where is it here we go this is just Wink Estella I'm just um, applying a little bit. Randomly. Where I think it might help. There you go. A little bit more on this one. My chocolate ice cream really needs to like look like it's luscious. There we go. Perfect. Like I said, I love it. So, um, I'm going to probably do something on the inside and put happy birthday, but it, other than that, it's done. All right, well, you guys have a great afternoon, and I'll see you guys another day. Have a great day. Bye.